Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this free training, I'm going to teach you how to use gallery sections inside Squarespace 7.1. We've got a lot to cover today, so I've added some chapters and timestamps in the description below in case you want to jump ahead. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I'm going to select Edit on the top left-hand side of my website preview. Here we'll see the option to add a section. If you can add a section, you can add a gallery section. Clicking on this option here, I'll see a list of pre-made page sections. But on the left-hand side, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see the word images and click on this option. Here inside images, you'll find gallery sections, but pay close attention to this icon on the top right-hand side. That means it's a gallery section. If you scroll further down in these site previews, you'll run into some sections that don't have that icon. These are Fluid Engine page sections, and they won't have the same settings that a gallery section does. Scrolling up here, make sure you select a section that has this icon that indicates a gallery section. Now, we're looking at a lot of different layouts, but every single one of these gallery sections can be changed to these layouts at any time. So let's go ahead and start with this one. This creates a masonry gallery section that has all kinds of images inside of it. When you've added a gallery section, you'll see new options here on the top right-hand side of the screen. This is how we edit the content. I'm going to scroll up in my screen here to show you this is a Fluid Engine page section, and I don't have an Edit Gallery option. All I have is Add Block on the left-hand side. Gallery sections are only made up of images and captions. We don't have other content blocks, so there's no Add Block button on the left. Just Edit Gallery and Edit Section on the right-hand side. If you select Edit Gallery, this is where you're able to add images. Click the plus sign and you can search for images that you've already uploaded to your asset library or images in the Unsplash database or directly upload them right here to the gallery. After you've added some images, you can drag and drop them into any order you want them to be in to rearrange the content. And if you don't like an image, just click that trash can icon and confirm to have it removed from your gallery. Clicking on any of these images, you'll be able to add a description. There are some design settings we're about to review where we can display this caption. I'll just type display this caption. There we go. But I want you to be aware that this description serves as the alt text for this image. That's alternative text that will be used to describe the image when someone's using a screen reader to access the content of your site. Making sure your description is accurately describing the image is very important for accessibility, so make sure that your caption makes sense. Now, if you want this image to actually link to something, you can add a link right here by typing in the URL or selecting this gear icon to open the link editor. You've got a lot of different options here. Most people will choose to direct it to a page on their site or any page on the internet, whatever you'd like to send people to when they click on the image, totally optional. So clicking out of here, I'll show you one last time how we got there. Select Edit Gallery, and when you click on any of these images, you can add an alt tag as a description. This will also serve as a caption if you want to display it on the page itself, and you can link any of these images to anything you want them to link to drag and drop them into whatever order you want them to be placed in, and click this plus sign to add an image from your asset library or upload one from your computer. All right, let's say that you've added all the images you like, but you don't like the design. Let's talk about our other options. Selecting Edit Section is where you can change the type of gallery. Remember in that preview, we had a lot of different gallery displays. This is where you can change it. We've selected Grid Masonry, but we can change that to something else. Grid Simple will display all of the images in rows and columns. Let's increase the number of columns here so we can see all of the images in this gallery section. Now we've got five columns. I'll move this thing over to the center here so we can see all of the images in gallery. But I want you to be aware that for Grid Simple, they're going to keep the same aspect ratio. Our images have been cropped to be a perfect square. Now we can change this. Maybe we want them to be vertical images where they're taller, then they are wide, or maybe the other way around. We want them to be widescreen images. They will be cropped, so make sure you select the right option here for the style of image that you'd like to have on your site. Now, this is for Grid Simple. We also have the option to set this to full bleed, which will push it to the edges of the page section. Now, you'll see it's at the very top and bottom of this page section, but we can also select full and inset to give it a little bit more room from the edges of this page section. Scrolling down here, this is where we change the aspect ratio. We adjusted the number of columns. We can also change the spacing between the images. Maybe we don't want much space at all, or maybe we want a lot of space. Super customizable. Now, remember when we added alt text as the description? If I toggle on captions, we're going to see that text displayed on the page. You can also toggle it off, totally optional. 
There are a few more options here for this particular gallery section style. We have the animation. We can have these images fade in when it loads, or we can have them scale in when it loads, or no animation at all. And you can also toggle on a light box. A light box means this image will show up full screen when someone clicks on it. So let's go ahead and select save and exit and take a look at this in a full preview here. When I click on this image, you'll see the little magnifying glass cursor. This is the light box. It pulls up the image to a full screen and adds a little bit of an overlay over the rest of my site content. Now I can scroll through my gallery images here and I can click this X button to close it. That's interacting with the light box for that gallery. All right, let's hop back into edit mode and take a look at some of the other section options here. Selecting edit section, we can choose grid strips, which will show a strip of all of the images there. We can also choose grid masonry, which is where we started. Then we have slideshows and slideshows have a lot of different options. For slideshow simple, you'll see I've got one featured image and then an arrow on the left. Let's scoot this over. We've got an arrow on the right as well. We can change the height of this slide, reducing the size of the image. And we can change the width. This will pull the arrows in closer or push them out farther. Do you see that arrow? Let's take a look at the left-hand side here. Small, medium, large. Those are your options there. Now, thumbnails will display little thumbnails of all of the images in the gallery at the bottom so people can see that they can scroll through to more items. They can also click on these thumbnails to navigate to the other items inside that gallery. All right, let's select edit section and take a look at the last two options here. We've got slideshow full and slideshow real. Full will stretch the image to be the full width of the page, and then we can adjust the height of that image, small, medium, or large, and scoot this over. We've got the arrows here on the left and right-hand side. You can hide those if you want to, or you can change them to what are known as bullets, and if we scroll up here, we'll see the bullets on the bottom of the screen. These will be the indicators that there are additional images inside that gallery. I want you to see how pixelated these images are. These are not well optimized for a full screen gallery. So make sure that your images are high quality if you're going to choose this option. You can also choose captions and have it autoplay where it will automatically scroll through the images for you. Totally optional. All right, one last one to review in that slideshow reel. There we go. Had to refresh the page really quickly. If you select edit section, we've chosen the slideshow reel option and you can choose full bleed. So the images stretch all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom of the section. Increasing the page section height will increase the size of those images. You can also select full and you can select inset. Inset will bring it in even closer to the center of the page. They're pulling it away from the edges on the left, right, top and bottom. Now, if you select any of those options, remember height will change the size of the whole section and thus the size of the image. And then we have controls. This is the last option I wanted to talk about. Overflow side will show the arrows for navigating through the entire gallery on top of the images on the left and right side. You can also select below. You can select below left, which will place both of the arrows on the left hand side, below right and below center, which places them right there in the middle. Now, I want you to be aware that inside Squarespace with these gallery sections, we can't edit mobile separately. So if we click on the mobile preview of this site, this is what it's going to look like on mobile. If you select edit section and instead of below center, we actually choose overflow side, you're going to see that effect on both mobile and on desktop. We can't change them separately. That's a super important thing to know. Now, there are a lot of things that we can customize about a gallery, and I'll include some of those linked in the description below. But one last time, anywhere you can add a section, you can add a gallery section. Select this option, and on the left-hand side of the screen, scroll all the way down until you see images. If you see this icon, this little indicator on the top right-hand side of that page section preview, there we go. That means it's a gallery section. Select any gallery section you want, and you'll be able to select Edit Gallery to add your own images. Drag them and drop them to rearrange them, add a description for alt text, and even have them link to anything you want them to link to. Click this plus sign to grab an image from your asset library or upload one from your computer. On the right hand side of the screen, you'll see edit section, and this is where you can change the gallery type at any time. Maybe instead of slideshow, you want to see all of your images in a masonry gallery, select that option, and then explore some of the design settings in here. Changing the number of columns, the spacing, displaying captions or not, you'll have a lot of options for each one of these gallery types here inside Squarespace. Whatever you've decided to change, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go.
I hope you enjoyed this training about gallery sections inside Squarespace so that you're inspired to create one of your very own. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about all the cool things Squarespace can do, check out my training series available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash start. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start. Thank you so much for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.